This film shows just some of the rescued animals we've given sanctuary to during 2010. Thank you to all our supporters for helping to save so many lives. 2010 has been another busy year for Hillside Animal Sanctuary. As the year began, our efforts continued to rescue a family of 19 Highland cattle. Their elderly owner, through failing health, was struggling to look after them and had requested our help. The family herd included six pregnant cows with calves at foot and gentle bulls. For many weeks we had been leaving food in a corral where they now felt safe. And so, the time had come to move them to our sanctuary at West Runton. These beautiful creatures seem to have varying opinions of our trailer. Some needed time to consider their options. This gave Wendy, our founder, a chance to check them over. Some needed no encouragement, perhaps sensing the better life that was awaiting them in our care. And one, one was a bit more of a challenge. Heart-stopping moments. And happily, no harm done. It had been a long day, but finally all 19 cows had arrived safely at Hillside. They then had to be vaccinated, wormed, deloused, and of course all bulls would need the little op before they could be released into the natural woodland and meadow that we had made ready. And soon the time came to let them explore their new home. And in the safety of their new surroundings, a new generation is born. Eight calves have been born this year and can all look forward to spending the rest of their natural days in the safety of the sanctuary. Thank you so much to everyone who contributed to our Highland Cow Rescue Appeal. Without your help, none of this would have been possible. In 2003, Hillside's investigator provided evidence which led to a successful prosecution and prison sentence for the illegal slaughter of sheep and goats. Despite this, the same offender is now facing further charges. As a result of this latest case, Yorkshire Trading Standards and Police asked us to take 13 goats, some pregnant, into our care to save them from further neglect and a grisly end. Here, two of the goats are being moved to their maternity paddock, and you can see some of the animals at the sanctuary are very excited to see them. And before very long at all, the first babies arrive. In total, nine baby goats have been born at Hillside, where they will be free to live out their natural days with their mums in the safety of the sanctuary. Here, you can see some of our 300 horses and ponies. If it wasn't for your kindness, most of them wouldn't be alive to enjoy a natural life free to graze the summer grass in the company of their friends.
Here's Sugar, enjoying a summer's day with her foal spice and a friend. Who would have thought she could be in foal when she was in such poor condition? Her recovery and the subsequent birth of spice really is a miracle at Hillside. Sometimes, with your help, amazing things can happen. Red, an orphaned fawn, shown here just after arriving at the sanctuary, was discovered staggering along a road. Here she is, meeting Princess, also orphaned and found desperately trying to suckle from a boar. Both have recovered well and become best of friends. Thanks to our supporters, we've been able to help so many animals throughout 2010. Like these Dartmoor foals who were due to be shot, we took them into our care and they are settling in well and enjoying a bright future. This unfortunate swan became so entangled in fishing line that it almost severed her leg. During delicate veterinary treatment we were able to cut free the offending line and once the leg showed signs of recovery, let her swim in a pond. We were thrilled to see her obvious delight at being back in the water. Trading standards asked us to take in these eight sheep who had become neglected. This poor sheep's horn was growing into his head, dangerously close to his eye. Our vet was able to cut the horn back to the sheep's obvious relief. And in no time at all, he's literally jumping for joy. During this cold weather, animals need the most food and bedding to keep them well and warm. This winter, the cost of feeding, due to the effects of an exceptionally dry summer, has pushed hay prices to an all-time high, and we are already paying 50% more than last year. As well as caring for over a thousand rescued animals, we receive calls every day asking us to take in others in need, and we always do our best to help. In just a few days, we have given sanctuary to two deer that had been hit by cars, who fortunately, with treatment, have survived. Two pregnant mares and a foal that had been abandoned and were to be destroyed by a council, a stray sheep with an eye injury, five micro pigs due to be slaughtered, 20 stray dogs, 15 turkeys and a stray hen, and every day brings another request for help.
so much has happened at Hillside this year and none of it would have been possible without the help of our supporters. Thank you from us and from the animals. They wouldn't be here without your help. <laughs>